Hi, everybody. Mike Brown back with you with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. It's time to work on your images. You've organized them. You've run them through Camera Raw. Maybe, maybe not. You've got them open in the editor. And the first thing we want to do after you sharpen your image is exposure and color. Now, this lesson and the next lesson, we're going to go over exposure and color corrections, auto and manual. We'll discuss the auto exposure and color corrections, manual exposure, manual color. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you a comparison of doing these corrections with quick, guided, and expert modes. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, here's a chart of all of the auto exposure color controls manual exposure, and manual color controls. In this lesson, everything that has a red dot is what we'll cover. In the next lesson, everything with the blue X. But let's start right off the bat with my mantra for exposure and color. You've heard me say this in the intro on color and light. Exposure affects color. Color does not affect exposure. Always do your exposure corrections first. Remember the example of a stop sign at noon on a bright sunny day. It's really vivid, bright red. As the day goes on, the sun goes down, and it begins to get darker towards twilight, that color goes from a bright, vivid red to a darker, richer, dark, 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 and eventually goes black as it gets dark. The exposure change from the sun and the day getting darker as it begins to get close to twilight changes the color. So just from a workflow point of view, always do your exposure corrections first. Get the exposure right in your image, then adjust your color. If you do the color first and then the exposure, you'll have to come back a second time. And the time you save is time you can spend on other things. Exposure affects color. Color does not affect exposure. Always do your exposure corrections first. So let's start with the auto exposure controls. Don't be daunted by this chart. These are very simple. There are five of them. Under the Enhance menu, Auto Smart Fix, Auto Levels, Contrast, and Color Correction are kind of grouped together. I'll explain that in a moment. Auto Smart Fix and Adjust Smart Fix, it's the same control. This one is adjustable. This one puts in a fixed level. Personally, I feel I should have just left the adjust because that way you you put in exactly what you want to get the effect that you need rather than having to take this and say, gee, I need more or less. Okay. Auto levels works on contrast between the brightest and darkest points. Auto contrast uses a mid-tone gray and adjusts contrast from there. Auto color correction works on your brightest and darkest points as color. Don't worry about that. They all three do similar things, but slightly different. When you're working on your images, once you get them in here and you're ready to do exposure and color, it takes very little time to do all of the auto ones to see if one of them works well for you. If it doesn't, you move on to the manual. And I want to tell you, and we'll show you here in a moment, different images respond differently to the auto controls. Some of them respond very well, some of them don't. It depends on the exposure, the color, the lighting, indeterminate ways. I have two images here. This one, which is, let's pull up our history panel. I already had an adjustment on it. This image here, decent exposure, it's a kind of a flat lit situation. The colors are okay, but they could use some more pop. And it looks to me like overall it has a little bluish cast to it. Notice the grass is a little dull. This image has really good exposure. There's where we are, and we are on the original. The good exposure in the mid-tones, but the sky is a little burned out. And in the foreground right area, the land the shoreline and also the rocks and the water in here are a little blown out. If I had exposed this any darker to get exposure on the land, I would have blocked up the shadow areas. So being a raw image, I knew I could pull it all out of that image in Photoshop, so I accepted the mid exposure. So let's try the auto exposure features on this image 
first. We'll try, we'll go with this background layer. Enhance Auto Smart Fix. It cooks and not much before and after. It's very hard to see. It just brightened things up just a little bit. Didn't do much for that foreground at all. Eh, not too much. We'll go back and do the second one, Auto Levels. And you can see that it snapped the contrast. Let's zoom it up a little bit so you can see it over in this area. Look up in the top in the darks. See, it snapped the contrast, which helped a little bit on the color of the water. But it really didn't do much for these rocks, so it still didn't do a lot. Enhance color. We've got a little color in there, but I see little blue tones. It's hard for you to see, probably, but there's a little blue tone that came in across the rocks. Away, color. Blue and maybe even a little magenta. It kind of discolored things. I can see the magenta in the walkway or the roadway up there. So that didn't do a lot of good. So let's try the last one, which is the Adjust Smart Fix, which gives us more control. Let's go all the way. We got some color improvement. You can see that. It's cooking for a moment here. Color out, color in. It's the best of the bunch, but I'm not real happy with it. I think we can do better. So we'll just go ahead and leave it where we are. Now, you saw that none of those auto controls did much on this image. Let's take another image.